hello guys uh, uh, in this tutorial uh, we'll discuss how to uh, dynamic the header section you can see uh, in the header area uh, in the left side there is a logo and the right side there are menus okay uh, you can see there are five menus over there so we need to dynamic this menu first so how we can dynamic these menus okay and and these menus are manageable from the back end so first of all we need to uh, go to the back end so you can see the back end dashboard okay so for dynamic the menus we need to go appearance and then menus okay so you can see here is the add menu items option over there so first of all we will create a menu called creator menu okay so once you uh, called header menu just need to create menu first okay now we can see header menu has been created right now we can select the pages uh, the pages we are looking for uh, to add in the menus area okay now if you go back to our html you can see there are uh, pages called about us services our team podcast and contact so um, as of now we don't have these pages as of now we don't we are not created these pages so we need to add the custom link for now so first one is about us okay so custom link we can add for about us as we don't have a page url so we can uh, add has link for now about us then you can see services again add services has a link again for our team our team has link for now team then podcast podcast has link okay and again you can see contact add contact uh, we are adding these menus as a custom link as because these pages are not created yet so and we need to dynamic the menus area that's why we just added these pages as a custom link one page has created we can easily select the pages from here okay so for now we can save the menu first now we need to uh, go back to our uh, themes area uh, uh, here you can see uh, we already logged in a file jilla to connect the server so now here you can see the our themes a uh, parent theme and child theme folder and you can see a function.php file as well just view and edit okay so once view and edit you can see your uh, child theme function or php has been opened up and then we need to go uh, go back to our wordpress dashboard uh, here is the menu we need to change so go to your google and type uh, wp wp nav menu for child theme so here you can see okay go back to this link uh w beginner scroll down so here you can see the function you can select this code just copy okay and paste it here okay here you can comment right like this custom and also okay you can change this name as a header menu and we can select the location called primary and the second one you can add like footer menu you can call like footer or, or whatever we need okay 
so this is the coding custom coding for uh, to adding the menus okay so just control a save and upload this now you can see it's uploading okay it's uploaded now now go back to your wordpress okay so refresh this one to add semicolon here okay save now you can see it's updated right okay now you can see header menu and footer menu it's coming through this code header menu and footer menu okay and now we need to select header menu and save the menus okay so header menu has defined with a header menu location okay now we have to uh, um, dynamic code for uh, header area so go back to your child theme okay here is your child theme you need to open header.php file so just open header.php file so now you can see this is our header.php file right so this is our menus area ul and ul first of all we need to check if there is any class in the ul or not you can see there is no class in the ul so we can remove we can comment of this part for now now we need to do custom code over there so uh, what is the custom code for ca custom menus so there is a function in wordpress like this wp nav to be name menu then we need to there is a syntax array so here is the theme location theme location so what is our theme location so theme location is for, for header menu is primary just copy this okay and Best. Okay. So and you see we don't have any container, so we can can add container none like this. Container. Okay. Now we can save this page. Okay. Now we can save this page. Now it's uploading. Okay. So once uploaded, go back to your WordPress site. So now we need to refresh this page once. Reload. Now we can see all the menus are so, so are coming from menu area. Suppose we need to add uh, another menu called like a uh, blog. Suppose. So we need to add blog as well third menus you can move this blog uh, below our team just save the menu okay and go back to your wordpress side and refresh this reload you can see the blog is gone so now you can see how we can dynamic the menus we can also add some menus as well like a blog under our team so blog is a sub menu under our our team you can save the menus okay so when you save the menus just refresh this page so once you refresh you can see a little uh, buttons is api we can uh, we can hide this button actually so we need to uh, first of all we need to inspect here 
you can once you inspect you can see uh, uh, there is a button uh, called some menu toggle actually we don't need that so we need to we can hide this button as well so it's the css display none you can see once you display none it's hide right so just copy this css and and go to your customize settings you can also add this CSS in your uh, style.css file from your uh, child theme folder. So for, for now, you can add this CSS in our WordPress dashboard uh, using customization. You can see there is an option called additional CSS. Just paste the CSS and publish. Okay. So once you publish, just refresh this. You can see it's fine, right? Now you can see the sub menu is for our team. So now we need to dynamic the logo. So um, for the logo, we can um, there are multiple ways to dynamic the logo. So for now, so we would like to manage the logo from the home page. So how we can manage the logo from the home page? So already we know uh, there is a plugin we already added. It's called Advanced Custom Build. It's uh, for custom based development always use this plugin so that we can manage everything using this plugin so now how we can manage the logo from the WordPress dashboard okay so in the left side you can see there is a uh, option called custom field and add new click on add new so for header and header and footer we can manage like this for header and okay so you can use a field label called header logo so once you add header logo text uh, just click on here once you click you can see the field name is automatically coming up okay we can we can add um, we can add unique different unique text here for the field name like a uh, header logo one whatever you need okay just make sure it needs to be unique okay so for the image you can select field name header logo it looks like an image so you can field uh, select field type as a image okay now you can select image array as well image url so for now you can select image url now just scroll down we need to uh, set up our location from where we need to manage the logo so for now we would like to manage the logo from the home page okay so we can select page and home okay and you would like to display the logo area in the right side so how we can do that we can see the position the so position is called side just this one and after that publish uh, your uh, custom fields okay now it's published so once it's published you can see this is our home page just edit the page home page you can see uh, these options these options are coming into your home page dashboard you can see in the right, right side header the header logo right we already did that here you can see the position is side and the location name is home okay and you can see this is our home page and this is our header logo here we can manage the logo so we need to add image right so first of all let's download this image first now it's down download okay, once you download just drag and drop the logo here and select so now you can see logo selected and now update so now how we can uh, connect the logo from the home page how we can um, uh, add custom code so go to your header.php file this is our header.php file and then we need to find out the logo uh, here you can see here you can see the logo is coming right so we need to add a custom code here so first of all we need to remove this we can remove this okay now how we can do custom code here 
so for custom as we are using an advanced custom field uh, to manage the sides to manage the text to manage the manage the images everything so there is a function called so you can see that field name is a uh, uh, field level name is a logo header logo and the name is header logo one so first of all copy this one copy and go back to your header.php file so start your php tag and here is the function the field so we already copied this right copy and we need to paste this here okay now add your semicolon so now you can see this is our custom code for um, to, man to manage the images okay so now you can control save and upload this file it's updated okay now go back to the world paste site and face this page now you can see the logo is here right but we need you but we need to do one more thing as because uh, this logo is managed from home page so we need to check what is the id for the home page here you can see this is the home page and dashboard and here you can see the id so id is 5 right so uh, always whenever uh, we manage everything um, from uh, different pages and that uh, and that and that is a uh, global so if anything is global so in that case we need to mention the id as well so here is the id just copy this id 5 okay you can go back to your header.php file and here here is the code that we already added so here we can add comma and add your the id okay uh, we are adding this id as because header header is the part uh, is for a global right header part is, is for every pages so in that case we will add the id so save this and upload okay so in this way we can easily manage the header part you can easily manage the logo and the menus part okay, okay. Uh, in our next tutorial we will discuss how to manage the footer part okay till then take care bye bye